we keep talking about oils. There are good, bo there are good oils and there are bad oils. There are oils that make us fat. There are oils that create inflammation in the human body. There are oils that create cholesterol, bad cholesterol, and makes us sick and we get cardiac arrests and all of those problems. There are oils that make us completely acidic and slow down the working of our liver. And then there are oils which are pure from the nut, from a seed, from plants. And these oils have fantastic health benefits when it comes to human health. The oil that I'm talking about today is castor oil and it's existed from civilization to civilization for decades and decades. It exists in Ayurveda. The Egyptians used it, the Red Indians used it, Indians used it. It's always been used for the treatment of hair, skin, and certain uh, internal usage also when it comes to immunity. Today we're gonna to talk about castor oil and why it is beautiful, amazing oil has been pushed off the shelves. I mean, a lot of us growing up, I don't know if you were lucky or unlucky, but you had your parents giving you a teaspoon of castor oil every week, sometimes even thrice a week or once a month. And we were given that so we would have a loose motion and pass out worms. At that point, it was called deworming. Or if we were constipated, we were given a little bit of castor oil to loosen up the stool and we would pass a motion the next day. Now we've moved, way, we've moved away from all of these natural healing methods because we have common pharmaceutical cheap drugs which are available, which gives us immediate relief, quick fixes, but we all know that we're only suppressing the symptom and it gets worse and worse. And then we have cosmetics. There, there are so many cosmetics out there, but there are more and more studies coming up how one out of eight cosmetics are filled with carcinogens, which are cancer-causing elements and endocrine disruptors. Anything that disrupts your endocrine system is disrupting your hormonal balance. When you have a hormonal imbalance, everything from your hair growth to hair fall to, to the way your hormones behave to PCOD, ovarian issues, moods, emotions, weight gain in the abdominal areas, and deadly diseases begin when we have hormonal imbalances. Your hormones are designed to talk to one another. They create information and communication between trillions of cells in the body. So you either have the right communication or you have the wrong communication of your hormones. So when it comes to cosmetics, the amount of chemicals and toxins that women, and today even men, are absorbing through the use of their cosmetics and their perfumes is unbelievable. The, we, we talk about toxicity only from contamination in food and pollution and water, but so much of toxicity enters the body through the creams, shampoos, soaps, toothpastes, and everything that we use. So yeah, it's a difficult world to live in. I mean, what next? What do we have to keep tab off? Everything seems to be adulterated and full, but we gotta make smart choices and good choices. So when it comes to castor oil, castor oil has been used for years and years, for decades and decades, in the field of beauty, natural beauty. You see oils like olive, castor, coconut, they contain a high amount of pure vitamins, pure minerals, and antioxidants, not synthetic vitamins, not synthetic minerals, not synthetic antioxidants. So these natural oils can moisturize, they can replenish, they can hydrate, and they can act as true anti-aging oils when you apply it. But today, you can't make too much money selling an oil. It's made into cosmetics because human beings want fragrance and then it's the packaging and there's all these fancy things only to have a markup on the margin so they can charge you a massive amount where the actual cost of basically using an oil which is filled with so much else, all the fragrances and everything else so that you pay that kind of money. But most people, if you go back into time, use castor, olive, and coconut oil to moisturize, hydrate their skin. They used it for wrinkles, stretch marks, post-pregnancy, everything, and it worked. So when it comes to your hair, people are running after shampoos and creams and all of these things, never understanding that to stop hair fall is an inside-out approach. To produce beautiful, voluminous, lustrous hair is an inside-outside approach. No amount of all the chemicals and shampoos and soaps and creams that you use is making your hair stronger or more beautiful. It is for a while. That's why you got to keep on using it. Once the effect dies down, you need to use more and more and more of these conditioners and shampoos and all of these things. When it comes to castor oil for your hair, you can improve the growth of your hair, the thickness of your hair, the color of your hair, the health of your scalp when you use castor oil. You take castor oil, if you find it too thick, you dilute it with a little bit of coconut oil or olive oil, you warm it for like a couple of seconds and you massage it into your hair and into your scalp. You keep doing this and you'll find that this works better than most shampoos and most conditioners. 
Of course, you need to use a cold press clean virgin castor oil because if you use the refined one, just, it's lost all of its vitamins, minerals, and all the benefits. So you wanna make sure that you use a good castor oil. The best way is to use castor oil plain in your hair. Now it's really, really thick, so you might find that's a problem getting it into your hair and scalp, but once you warm it, it and really knead it into your hair, into your scalp, it works like magic. When there are fungal overgrowths, you know, some people have fungal overgrowths on their feet, between their toes, their fingernails, their toenails, applying castor oil works like magic because it's highly antimicrobial. For some people who even have skin issues, they apply a mix of coconut oil and castor oil and it works like magic. But be aware, depending on the skin issue, sometimes castor oil can be an irritant to certain people. So if they're allergic to it, they can actually make the condition a little bit worse. So you wanna start off with a little bit of castor oil on a small area of your skin and wait to see if you have an allergic reaction before taking it further. For women who come out of pregnancy, stretch marks, you can spend loads and loads of money on all these fancy creams and spa treatments for your stretch marks. What has worked the best for people in villages, tribals across the world is good old castor oil. Now again, you apply warm castor oil on the stretch marks. You can mix it with a little bit of, a little bit of olive oil and coconut oil if you want. Works like magic when it comes to your stretch marks. But again, just doing that, not tightening your core, not feeding yourself with the right amount of fruits, vegetables, and nuts and seeds that won't work. It's an integrative approach. Approach. There's no one magic cream, one magic oil, or one magic food in this world that gives you all the results together. When you have acne and you're left with marks on your face post the acne attack, like little black marks, you can use castor oil, dab it lightly with a cotton on those marks. Keep doing it for a while and you'll find that it has the possibility to reduce those marks and sometimes even completely remove them. The same way with wrinkles. Now it's not gonna take away your wrinkles permanently, but it can definitely make it better because when you use castor oil, it gets highly absorbed into your skin into the layers below below your skin. And that's what hydrates, moisturizes it, and keeps your skin looking tight and young. Uh, castor oil contains something called ris ricinolic acid. And this is beautiful to balance the pH of your scalp. You see, people who have scalp and hair problems are either too acidic or too alkaline. I'm talking about their scalp health. So this oil, this property in the oil has the, has the, has the ability to balance the pH of your scalp. You never wanna have too acidic a scalp or too alkaline a scalp. You want everything to be in balance like nature's designed to do. So yeah, now when it comes to internal ingestion of castor oil, it works marvelously. Number one, with constipation. Okay, if you're constipated, you need to pass a stool. We all know the dangers of constipation and what it leads to, right? From migraines to acidity, to estrogen dominance in the body, migraines, brain fog, weight gain in the abdominal area, all of these issues. Constipation, castor oil works brilliantly with you. You take like a teaspoon, you take maybe even a tablespoon of this thick oil plain just before you go to sleep at night and it gives you a complete flush out the next day. Now this may not work immediately for people who have been used to taking laxatives all their life. Okay, so you're gonna have to really keep doing this for a while to make sure that it works for you, but it's highly lubricating and it works to clean out your entire colon by flushing everything out. It also works well with your gut bacteria. It's a slow passing oil through your gut. It helps you generate the right amount of bacteria as well. So it is also adding to your gut health that way. My favorite part of castor oil is its impact on your immunity. For me, everything revolves around immunity in the human body. Everything revolves around immunity. The first and last line of defense in the human body. You wanna heal a disease, you look at immunity. You wanna prevent a disease, you look at immunity. Everything revolves around immunity. Trillions of cells working together, your lymphatic system working together, your five eliminatory organs, your skin, your lungs, your kidney, your colon, uh, uh, and your liver working together you have strong immunity. Now, castor oil has the ability to boost your WBC count, your white blood cell count. It has the ability to help your circulatory system and your lymphatic system work the right way. When your lymphatic system is working the right way, your lymphatic system is also responsible for the production of lymphocytes, which has everything to do with white blood cells. So when we use castor oil the right way when someone is sick or someone's even healthy, it we can boost the immune system. Of course, we just don't go and start taking castor oil because if you're going through any treatment right now, you don't want to create immediate diarrhea and flush out, you know, energy and some of key vitamins and minerals from the human body. It has to be planned into your diet and into your life the right way. But it works marvelously with people who are going through chemotherapy, radiation, anything that is compromising the immune system. We all know to keep a great lymphatic system working, you need great circulation and castor oil just does that for the human body as well. 
So my favorite mix for the hair and skin is a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of castor oil. Sorry, not for the skin, for the hair. Mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of castor oil and massage that into your scalp. It removes dandruff. You keep doing this for a while and you remove dandruff completely. A word of caution. I spoke about some people being allergic to this and castor oil being an irritant to their skin. Pregnant women, it will induce labor. So you wanna make sure that unless you have a holistic doctor who is helping you induce labor with castor oil, you do not wanna do it without your doctor's supervision because in all cases, it can induce labor in a pregnant woman. <clears throat> Castor oil, when your child or you have a tummy pain or you have colic or you have gas, taking a couple of drops of castor oil in your navel, letting it soak into your navel and then rubbing it in a circular motion around like, you know, the, the perimeter of your navel will also help you reduce gas and acidity. For children who have colds, for adults who have colds and a lot of congestion, rubbing warm castor oil on the chest and then putting a heat pack over it will also help you loosen up that congestion. So again, it's going back to nature. This is the way people maintain their health and healed. And yes, we have medicine today. I'm not against medicine. Take it if you need to, but try to go back into nature and use the things which are freely available because these things leave you with zero side effects. It's inexpensive, it works, you can keep it in your kitchen, you can travel with it. So use castor oil in your life if you need to, if you have a gap that it can fill, it will only get you good health benefits. But do it the right way, don't overdo it. And remember, it's oil at the end of the day. So if you're gonna go up to one to two tablespoons of castor oil in the day, you wanna make sure that your overall intake of oil somewhere in the day decreases because it is oil and it is calories at the end of the day. Get a good brand of that and add it to your lifestyle. Have a great evening, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.